Today's sponsor is SiteGround.com. They provide one-click installers, 24-7 support, excellent security, and free website transfers. Check out the link in the description below. Welcome to WP Cliff Notes. My name is Cliff Kennedy, and here you will get tips, tricks, and hacks about WordPress. If you are a newbie or a veteran, consider subscribing if you would like to know more about WordPress. Hey guys, welcome to the computer and part one of a two-part mini-series on ACF and the Advanced Custom Fields Flexible Content Field. So let's get right into this tutorial. Alright, first off, we're going to go to the ACF field group. We're going to add a field, we're going to call it Page Builder. And we are going to add a field called layout. And then we are going to change this to the flex content field. And with the flex content field, there are several. Well, before we get started talking about this, let's change this to page template. Not post template, page template default and then let's get rid of the let's keep the permalink let's keep the format the page attributes the featured images okay and then we're gonna publish it now when you are creating a flex content field there is something within the field called layouts and the cool thing about this is you can create different types of layouts like one column, two column, three column, um, services areas, um, half massive image, half text. You can do all types of things with this. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create this but on the back end. So and, but on the front end, it's going to turn out like this. You have labels and you have names. The label is what shows in the admin area. And the name is what shows in the, in the code. It's what you put in the code to make it show up. So here we're going to call this one column. And then we're going to hit tab. And it automatically generates the name. And then we're going to create a field called headline and a field called column. And we're going to give the user the option to center the headline or have it left aligned. So I'm going to create a true, true false field. And we're going to call it center headline. And there it is. True false still. And we're going. This is what it looks like by default, but we're going to make it look like this, like this select thing. So true false. And we're going to pull it up top. And then we're going to save this. We're going to update it. Next, we're going to build the two column layout. So we will come in here. We'll make sure we change this to a WYSIWYG, the column one to a WYSIWYG. Um, let's see, there we go. And we'll hit update. And then we will duplicate this get rid of that name this two column hit tab and duplicate this call it column two call this one column one
Column 2 is created. And next, we're going to create column 3. So what we will do is duplicate this, delete this, change this to 3, and then hit tab, duplicate this, change it to 3, change this, actually, we will do this, hit tab, Something we forgot to do on this field is hit tab. So we'll come back up here, fix this one. There we go. Alright, column three has been created. And so next, we're going to duplicate this one and make a four column layout. So we hit duplicate. Four. Delete this. So by now you get the point when you're creating, uh, you know, one, two, three, and four column layouts. So that's pretty easy, especially in the admin. Um, this is going to be a four column layout. So we'll hit tab, make sure it's a WYSIWYG. Perfect. So now we have our four column layout. Now next, we're going to go in here and create, or we are going to make the layout sit side by side. So on this first one, we don't really need to do anything because it's automatically going to be 100%. On column two, we will need to, and you can, the cool thing about this is, is you can make these fields different widths. So we want this these to sit side by side equally. So we're going to take that one 50. You can also add classes and that too. So, and then we're going to do this. We're going to go down here, make this one 50. And for three columns, it would be like 33.3333. So we'll come in here and we'll hit 33.3333. And then we'll copy this one and we will edit this one and just paste it right here. We'll do the same for this one. And for the four column layout, it's going to be 25%. So we will go in here, hit 25, edit. Twenty-five and so on. And next, we're going to create the featured slash services area. So we'll go come back here in the page builder field group and open up the layout field. Come all the way to the bottom. And we will add a field. We're not going to duplicate a field now. This is going to be called... Featured slash services. And we'll hit tab. And so with this area, we're going to add a repeater inside of here. We 
you're gonna make it a repeat and not a flex fill. You can have nested flex fills, flex content fills. Inside of the repeater, we are going to have a name field an icon slash image field and we are gonna leave it at the array area and I'll show you why we're doing this in the video in the second video And then we will have a description field. And I'm gonna make this a text box, or a text area. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I make it a WYSIWYG, the user will be able to style the content in the WYSIWYG, and I don't want them to do that. I wanna be able to have full control over that with CSS. So, I'm making it a text area. Next, I'm gonna add two true false fields to this repeater, and the reason being is because if you look at these, um, there's there's a left border, or a right border, and a bottom border. But on this one, there's only a bottom border and not a left border. And so I wanna be able to turn the bottom border off and the left border off. I wanna give the user that uh, capability so we are gonna create two true false statements and one of them is gonna be called bottom border and then the second one is gonna be called right border Update it. Now I'm gonna go back into this repeater here and I'm gonna pull these to the top and I'm gonna change this from a table to being a block layout and so I'm gonna change this field to be 25% width and this one to be 25% width and then the name field I'm going to be 100% and then the icon I'm going to make it we'll say 30% and then the description field we will make 70% and then we're gonna hit update all right now we're going to uh, add content to the field I've created a page called page builder and here's the page builder itself and we're gonna go here and create a one column layout we're going to center the headline, we're going to call it headline 1, then we're going to grab some dummy text and paste it here, and then we're going to add another column, column 2, we're not going to center this content, and call it Headline 2, and we're going to paste this content in here, then we're going to go to column 3, headline 3, paste this column, this in here, then we're going to add column 4, we'll go ahead and paste this in here, Call it 
Headline four. I'll update that. And then lastly but not least, we're going to add the featured section. And so we're gonna add a name and for this one we're going to call it shopping bag i'll add an icon and these are svgs by the way and i will show you in the coding video how to do that and then we're going to add content probably not that much i'm going to add another one call it 24 7 support we're going to add an icon Add another icon, and I will show you how, how we use these uh, when we get to the coding video. And then we're going to add the person, and we're going to call this one user satisfaction. Going to add one more called voice recording. going to update it and the cool part about these layouts is you can minimize them and then move them around so if you don't like where they're at the first time you can move them around or whatever and they move around too we're going to update that And we're going to end this video right here. And in the next video, we will pick up the coding part. So thanks a lot. That's how easy it is to create a custom WordPress page builder with advanced custom fields. I hope today's tutorial has made WordPress fun simple and easy for you. Until next time, this is Clifton Kennedy signing off. Later.